Hey everyone, it's Yayuna, and today we are going to be making chorizo. Um, now, when you prepare to make this, the best thing to do is to make it and let it set at least one overnight. You can use it right away, but I really suggest letting it sit and let all of the ingredients soak. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. It is good. I have used it before, and so I thought I would share it. Enjoy, buen provecho. The ingredients will be salt, cinnamon, smoked paprika. You can also use regular sweet paprika. Minced garlic, you can do fresh. Apple cider vinegar. Cloves, ground cloves. Ground cumin. Black pepper. Mexican oregano, so it has to be whole, ground pork, and chili powder. It doesn't matter what kind of chili powder, whatever chili powder you like, that's what you can use. I got this from Mexico, that's what I'm going to use. Also, measuring spoons and a big bowl to put it in. So we're to use five garlic cloves. So what I'm going to do is do one tablespoon of minced. Okay, there we go. Next is two tablespoons of chili. One. And that's, I'm kind of doing heaping, which is fine. And I always add a little bit extra for good measure. Okay. okay, one. And if you have sweet paprika, you can add that too. All I have is the smoky one, so that's what we'll use. Okay, one and a half teaspoon salt. So this will be fun. One and a half. Okay, next is two teaspoons dried oregano. So two of these. So we don't have to crush it or anything. One. Now, half a teaspoon of fresh ground pepper. Half a teaspoon of ground cumin. Ground cumin is an aromatic. I've heard it described and seen that it's written down that it's spicy, um, and I guess it's spicier than cilantro or parsley, but the thing is, it's more an ar aromatic, aromatic thing. Very earthy. Next is a cinnamon, and it is a quarter teaspoon cinnamon. And a quarter of a teaspoon ground cloves. I know it sounds weird, but it does taste good. Okay, before I add the vinegar, I'm gonna mix these up. Okay, I'm gonna stir it up first. And if you don't have garlic that's minced, you could use garlic powder too. You know, don't ever let that hold you back. You know, we never know until we try, right? Next is four tablespoons of cider vinegar. Four. 
It smells so good. I don't know. I, I love the smell of vinegar, so I think it smells good. And we can mix it up again, and then we'll add the pork. And by the way, folks, yes, I did wash my hands before I even began. Always important. If I don't tell you, please know I take it for granted that we know to wash our hands. Looks very red, but I think that's a good color. The pork is defrosted. Now, if you want to use the breakfast sausage, because brec pork breakfast sausage has a different flavor to it, you can totally do that. This is just plain straight up pork. So it doesn't have anything flavored to it. And this was frozen. Can you tell? We had to defrost this. And the middle's frozen. <laughs> it's okay. We just work our way into it. And don't worry, I don't just make Mexican food. I'll make other foods at some point. I just started with this because this is what I was. I've been, oh yeah, I can make this, I can make this. So, so if you can let the meat defrost or and buy it fresh and make it when it's fresh that's that's even better now we're just going to mix it in and this is why it's important to let it set that way all of these different flavors that you saw me adding in here will have time to soak into the meat and if you let it set even just overnight you make it during the day one day and you make it the you know cook it the next day it'll be great and the thing about this is that you don't have to use a lot of chorizo you know when you're scrambling eggs this is enough for two or three meals right here so now it has a nice red color kind of looks like what you would see at the grocery store i think and um this makes like four servings, and so I have little Ziploc baggies, four of them ready. And you can wrap them in plastic wrap, you can wrap them in aluminum foil. I like to use the Ziploc baggies and just keep them in the freezer. This meat, this prepared, can sit in the freezer for up to four months. So, you know, if it lasts that long. <laughs> So, okay, I'm going to try to flatten this out and try to make four different cuts. I'll just cut it into quarters as is. I'll just mark it and split it. Three. Well, you didn't get four bags? Okay. My partner in crime, Mr. Man, Mr. J-Dog. Hopefully by now you guys have helped me to get a new nickname for him. I'm still making four because he was thinking he wants them tonight, so. I'll sort it into four. Again, you can use it the same day you make it. It's just, it won't be as flavorful as if you allowed it to sit. So, and you can make it into pretty little loaf shapes, but me, I'm just tossing them in because when we ground it up on the stove, it's not gonna be a pretty loaf. <laughs> Okay, well folks, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Um, we're gonna be making this tonight with scrambled eggs and potatoes. Um, in Hermosillo, I think they're called molletes. All right, this is bolillo bread or, it says, oh, I can't read it. It's, it, I still, my eyes are still bad. But it's made on this bread or birote or bolillo. 
And what you do is you slice this bread in half and you toast it and you put beans, refried beans on top and chorizo and then melt the, and honestly, certain cheeses, they call it certain things, but it's basically mozzarella. You put shredded mozzarella on top of that and then you bake it again for a few minutes. That, they're so good. So I hope you try this. If you do, let me know. Let me know how it turned out. Let's see if you like it, um, you know, and then let's see if you adjust it and try to make it your own. What have you done? What, what have you done to change it? I'd like to know. All right, guys, I love you. I will see you the next time and thanks for watching. Bye.